Get cooking in Potluck Christmas. With Shane the Chef. Oh, Shane, I think it's a brilliant idea. A festive meal for everyone on the night before Christmas. It's going to be a feast. Alf's delivering the turkey later today. And here's the vegetable order. It's quite a long list. I see what you mean. Whew. Is that everything? I think so. No. Wait. Brussels sprouts. OK. Although I'm not sure anyone really likes them. <laughs> oh, well, I love sprouts. You could do so much with them. But I should be getting back. Alf's not the only delivery I'm waiting for today. All the Christmas presents I ordered are coming too. My presents are also being delivered today. <laughs> Whoops. Maggie, <laughs> not you as well. I'll load everything up and I'll be right over. Thanks, Maggie. I'll see you soon. Snow? For Christmas? <gasps> now that would be lovely. Look, I got Ooh. it, I got it. Got, got one. Hello, you lot. This is great, isn't it? I hope it keeps on snowing. I'd love a white Christmas. I don't know about a white Christmas, but... I'm dreaming of presents. Lots of presents. <laughs> Christmas is about more than presents, Mario. Hey, Dad. Got the veg? Maggie's bringing it over. You should see her Brussels sprouts. They look fantastic. Sprouts? Oh, yuck. Oh, no. Sizzling saucepans. What a let down. What? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Shane, Shane, I've just had the most terrible news. Me too. Well, you're not the only one. It's my online order for everyone's Christmas presents. This text says they won't arrive till after Christmas. Due to heavy demand... And the difficult weather conditions. I don't believe it. You all ordered your presents at the last minute as well. I'm afraid so. Just ran out of time. Oh, I've just been so busy. Well, I'm a very busy fisherman, you know. No need to panic, everyone. Now, I've spent the last seven days taking detailed weather readings using an array of forecasting equipment. It clearly shows only a light snowfall, which will quickly melt, so the roads will be clear. Uh, oh. Hey, I oh. I Maybe I should check my settings. Oh, no! I was supposed to be delivering the turkey for tonight's feast. <gasps> That's it! My Alf can go to the delivery centre and pick up all our presents. Phew! I think you might have just saved Christmas. Come on inside, everyone. This calls for some hot chocolate. Oh, dear. I don't like the look of this. Whoa! Whoa! My veg boxes. Oh, where are they? Good Amazing. Stuff. Delicious. Very well, caro mio. I understand. That was Alf. He got to the delivery centre okay, but now all the roads are blocked by snow. Oh, oh no. No, Dad. That's it then. This means no presents, which means no Christmas. Don't worry. I can still make a cracking Christmas feast just with Maggie's veg. Uh, where is Maggie? Oh, just the person. Hello, Maggie. We were just talking about you. Where are the... What happened? Oh, no. Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Well, stay right where you are. We're on our way. OK, everybody. Let's go. Maggie's counting on us. Maggie! Ooh. Oh. Maggie! Where are you? Can you hear us? It has got the scent of something. Oh, I don't see anything. Maggie! Oh, what? Eddie! Am I glad to see you? Oh, and we're glad to see you. Thank goodness you're OK. Oh, I'm fine. But the veg boxes were thrown out when the tuk-tuk crashed. I've only found this one so far. We've got to find the rest. I don't know, Maggie. 
The snow's getting really heavy now. And my seaweed is totally frozen. Look, we should be getting back. Sam's right. Let's just take this box and go. For you. Ah, I wonder what's in it. Sprouts? <gasps> Everybody hates sprouts. They're just so... sprouty. I have to admit, Mario's got a point. To be perfectly honest, oof, I've never liked them. Sprouts? I love them! Never used to mind until I got a job in Belgium on the world's biggest sprout farm. Sprouts for breakfast, lunch and dinner it was, although they don't half make... Yep, thank you, Sam. And you're right. Sprouts can be very tasty. I'll show you. Oh, not on their own, surely. OK, everyone. Go home, take a look in your store cupboards, see what you can find. We're going to have a Christmas Eve potluck feast you'll never forget. Right, what have you got? Some pancetta ham and parmesan cheese. I caught these prawns only this morning. The last of this season's honey. Oops. Hmm. I've been meaning to do something with this jasmine rice for ages. Yep, and we've got an onion, garlic... And some cream. So, Dad, what's next? Well, I think you know, Izzy. Let's get cooking! Add a drizzle of balsamic vinegar and Penny's delicious honey, and we've got oven roasted Brussels sprouts with honey and bacon. And that's not all. There's cream Brussels sprouts with caramelised onions and a sprout and prawn stir fry. Here you go, everyone. A Christmas potluck feast. Mmm. Oh, that does smell delicious. <laughs> yeah, but it's still sprouts. Don't tell me you're scared of a little old sprout. Scared? Me? No way. Mm. Mm. OK, that's not too bad. Brilliant. Mm. 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 Tasty. Oh. Mario, what's wrong? I thought you liked the food. I do, even if it's made out of sprouts. I just wish Dad could be here. Me too, me bambino. Me too. Dad! Yay! Yay the the That's my elf! He always finds a way to come home. This is my science kit. I can feel it. This better be the new album from the Malignant Whalers. Thanks, Alf. Sid, are you sure you can carry all those? Of course. I'll be fine. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the last of the presents. Now, have you got my... Oh! <laughs> Turkey! Thanks, Alf. Mm -hmm. Now I've got everything I need for my Christmas Eve feast. What about all those tasty sprout dishes? Well, they're good enough to eat on their own. Tell you what, why don't I cook this turkey on Christmas Day? Christmas dinner for the whole town. That would be wonderful, Shane. We can find the rest of the veg tomorrow. Of course. I can't think of a better way to celebrate Christmas Day than a meal with everyone you love. Oh, lovely, <laughs> Dad. <gasps> no way. Guess what I've just seen? <laughs> Hooray! Wow. It's just Dad. There he goes, off on another delivery. So much to do tonight. <laughs> but he can't be. Can he?
Let's get cooking in wonky veg. With Shane the Chef. Oh, and here she is. Hi, everyone. You ready for your big day, Maggie? Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited about my new veggie box scheme. <laughs> yeah, look, I've done you a little display to advertise it. Oh, that's lovely, Shane. And I've got JG's megaphone all ready. This is a oh, megaphone! Whoa. <laughs> Mario! Sorry, Shane. I still don't guess it. What's so special about vegetables in boxes? Oh, well, I'll be delivering them straight from the farm to people's doors. <laughs> it was Shane's idea. <laughs> you can't get much fresher than that. And it helps people eat more seasonal veg. I think I'm all set. I just need to dig up the last of the vegetables. Any volunteers? I'll help. Me too. I love digging. You just love finding wiggly worms. Oh, yeah. There'll be plenty of those. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Just going to get started on your new sign. I'm helping out as well. Don't want to miss out on the action. Got me guitar, too. Might have a song for you later. Everybody's being so kind. We're all behind you, Maggie. Thanks, everyone. I've got a feeling my veggie boxes are going to be a big success. <laughs> The display's great, Shane. Perfect inspiration for the sign. Uh, hmm. Yes. So, Sid's going to do some painting too. He's going to paint one side of the sign while I paint the other. He's, um, he's very enthusiastic. Well, let's hope his painting skills are as good as his singing ones. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sid. That's it. Get stuck in. Mario. Stop it! Uh, oh! Sorry, Izzy. Come on, Wormy. Come to Mario. I wonder what it's thinking. Not much. They just eat soil one end till it comes out the other. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this carrot. It looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> a carrotosaurus. Oh, the ground's a bit stony around here, so when the roots hit the stones, the veg grows a bit wonky. This one's like an octopus. <laughs> That's a turnip! It's got tentacles! Grrr. Octi the octopus is going to trap you in his tentacles. Hey, my Caratosaurus is a peace-loving herbivore. With a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'd better get these packed. My customers will be waiting. In you go, Octi. <laughs> well, that looks great, Penny. Yes, I think it's coming along nicely. What are you painting, Sid? You'll just have to wait and see. Ready, Shane? The kids are on their way. They're going to help with the deliveries. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect time for my song. Oh, no. Oh, Maggie, what can I say? This is your beautiful veggie day. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! OK, let's go. Roll up, roll up, come and get them. Maggie's lovely vegetable boxes straight from the farm to your doorstep. Huh? Hey. From field to fork, fresh, tasty veg. Oh. Maggie's lovely vegetable box is straight from Yum. the farm yes. to your doorstep. Good boy, Mario. Oh, what is that? Oh, delicious. <coughs> Calm down, Eddie. It's just a courgette. <coughs> Snake! Lovely. Ah! Look what I found in my box! An octopus turnip? And I found a snake courgette. I'm afraid I don't fancy eating a carrot dinosaur, Maggie. We'd prefer normal vegetables, please. Not funny-shaped ones. Quite right, Mama Polenta. That goes for me, too. But it doesn't matter about the shape. But it's the taste that counts. Mm. Yuck! What am I going to do? Oh, I can't help the shape of my vegetables. If people only want straight vegetables, my box scheme won't work. I just don't have enough. Don't worry, Maggie. All we need to do is to make them into a tasty dish. That way, people will see they taste just as good as straight vegetables. I'm not so sure, Shane. They might think that just because you're a good chef. Yeah, Dad. You can make anything taste good. Grown-ups are really weird. Wonky veg are much more fun to eat. Yeah, all those funny shapes. Bet they wouldn't be able to taste a difference anyway. That's it. Izzy, you're a genius. 
I am. We'll do a taste test. The wonky roast vegetables versus the normal ones. And then let's see if people can tell the difference. Cool. The grown-ups will have to eat what we give them for once. Eat your greens, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worth a try. I'd better go and tell everyone. That's OK. You leave that to me. Um, that's quite an unusual shape. Sid, I need your help. See, someone appreciates my painting talents. Well, it's not those talents I'm after. Just as well. Join us for a meal delight. Here and fresh with us tonight. Test your taste buds to see if they're right. Here and fresh with us tonight. Wonky or straight, which tastes the best? You might be surprised when you take our test. So come along for real food delight. Here and fresh tonight. <laughs> Ooh, come on, Mama Polenta. OK. I'm sure I'll be able to taste the difference, no problem. Right, you guys. First, you need to scrub all the vegetables, the straight ones and the wonky ones. Bye-bye, Caratosaurus. And turnip octopus. And potato heart. <laughs> <laughs> then, while they're roasting, we'll make a herby dip to go with them. Sounds delicious. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's get cooking. Done. I hope this works. Good evening, everyone. First, you all have to wear these. Ooh. 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 <laughs> this is exciting. Reminds me of a time when I was marched to a secret Inca temple in the middle of the jungle. I was blindfolded for 12 days and 12 nights. Everyone ready? Oh. No peeking now. I can't see a thing. OK, Shane. Here we go. Right. Who's first? Me. Here it comes. Oh, yummy. Now this one. Oh, delicious. So, which one tastes the best? Oh, oh maybe the first one. No, wait, the second one. No, I don't know. Come on, Mama. Open wide. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. And the second one. Also very nice. But which one was wonky and which one was straight? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I am... Um, I'm a little confused. Now, that really is a tasty carrot. And how about this one? And that's an even tastier one. Of course. That's my Caratosaurus. There you go. You've just eaten the wonky veg and the straight veg. And none of you could tell the difference. <laughs> oh. Well, not even Mama. I'm sorry, Maggie. I think I might have been a little hasty earlier. Mm. It really is very good. That's the best dinosaur I've ever tasted. Shane, it worked. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Your new sign is ready. That's wonderful, Penny. <gasps> You're such a talent. Hey, what about my sign? <gasps> Sizzling saucepans. <laughs> Looks like an orange banana. Hey, that's my carrot you're talking about. A carrot? But it's all wonky. Well, it's supposed to be modern. Sid, dear, I think I'd better paint that again. No, don't. It's perfect. Huh? A wonky carrot sign for my wonky veg business. <laughs> what could be better? <laughs> <laughs>
talking in Pop Goes the Movie. With Shane the Chef. Oh, that should do it. Thanks, Sid. This is a big moment. Munchington's first pop-up cinema. Dad, whoa, look, the screen's up already. It's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. Nino the Hero is my favorite film. In the hills of Mexico, the poor people starve because Miguel the Marauder has taken all their corn. Only one person could save them, Nino the Hero. Hey, you're good. Our Jayesh knows all the lines off by heart. Well, it is my favourite film. Hi, Jane. I've almost finished the pop... JG! Shush! It's a surprise. Oh, what's a surprise? Let's just say I've got some special movie snacks lined up. Movie, movie snacks? snacks? Maggie should be getting the ingredients ready. You know, you could always go and check how she's getting on. Let's go, Ninios. <laughs> Your sweet corn is looking great, Maggie. Yeah, but unfortunately the crows think so too. Hey, shoot! Get away with you! Oh, well done, Eddie. <laughs> You're the perfect scarecrow. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Sam. Shane says you've got movie snacks. Wow, what's all that? Is it sweet corn? Eh, that's right. Look. Maybe that's Dad's special movie snack. It doesn't look very special. Can't you make popcorn out of corn? You can. <gasps> popcorn! Yay! Oh, but this corn is sweet corn. You need a different kind of corn to make popcorn. Aww. <laughs> like this one. All ready for the movie screening tonight. Yes! Ah. Wow! Uh, it's all dry and wrinkly. The drier it is, the better it pops. Once I was on the run from bandits when I ran into a cornfield in Mexico where the corn was as high as my head. There I was, hiding in a cornfield, when the bandits set the field on fire and the corn started popping all around me. <laughs> Mexico, that's just like Nino the hero. I, Nino. We'll take the corn to the people of Mexico, and they shall not go hungry. You really do know all the lines, Jay. Uh-huh. Hey, why don't we all play Nino the hero? Dibs, I'll be the baddie. Miguel the marauder. I'll be Isabella the brave, Nino's best friend. And I'll be Nino the <laughs> hero. And his faithful horse, uh, hound. El Edo. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the screening. Bye. Bye. This is my land and my corn. No one shall have it but me. But Miguel, I'm hungry. Too bad. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> no. This corn belongs to everyone. You have to share. Share? Miguel the Marauder never shares. Whoa! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's just I think Miguel the Marauder needs a wash. Great. <laughs> Proudly presenting JG's Popomatic for the best popcorn in Munchington. It's a beaut, isn't it? Oh, you said it. Are you sure it'll work? Of course. <laughs> When do my inventions ever fail? Uh... Hiya, Shane. Hi, Maggie. Here you go, your special popping corn. <laughs> Great! Just in time to try out the pop matic You ready, JG? Here we go. We have liftoff. Whoa, we really do have liftoff. Um, is it supposed to do that? Watch out! There you go. I bet the corn's popped to perfection. Sizzling saucepans. Some of the corn's popped, all right. Look, it's all burnt. <laughs> it just needs a tweak. K 
Can you see anything, Nino? No. I think he's hiding in the field of corn. <laughs> Wait, Nino. Our faithful hound, Aledo, has found something. Or someone. No, Eddie. Go away, Eddie. No. Out, you brigand. Out to face justice. Miguel the Marauder will never give in. I will resist until the end of time. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> At last, you are vanquished, Miguel. Now you must share your corn with all. OK, <laughs> Nino the hero, I give up. From now on, everyone can eat my corn. Actually, I'm really hungry now. It's almost time for the film to start. Come on. Quiet, please, everyone. Welcome to the first screening at Munchington's Pop-Up Cinema. Uh. Let her roll, Sid. <gasps> Here we go. Oh. Wow. Yay, yeah, it's Nino the hero. Bring on the popcorn. Mmm, <laughs> I can smell it. Oh, oh. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, everyone. The popcorn's all burnt. Well, I've got plenty more corn at the farm, if that helps. And I can cook it in a saucepan over the fire, like they did in Mexico. But what about the film? Sorry, Jay. The popcorn got inside the projector. It's broken. <sighs> Never mind, Jay. We had fun acting the film, didn't we? Hey, wait a minute. Listen up, everyone. We've got a plan, but we have to go to Maggie's. Fine by me. What are we waiting for? To the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Munchington's first pop-up theatre. The Cornfield players now proudly present Nino the Hero. <laughs> Out to face justice. Hooray! 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 This is my land. But, Miguel, I'm hungry. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you have to share. Too bad. Miguel the Marauder never shares. Oh. <laughs> this corn belongs to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, El Edo. <laughs> Whoa! You are vanquished, Miguel. <laughs> Eddie! Oh, 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 God. God. You were all magnificent, <laughs> especially my Mario. Mama. You saved the day, kids. Yay! Yes, Eddie. Just what I was thinking. Where's the popcorn? Coming right up. And I'm going to make corn on the cob, too. Let's get cooking. <laughs> goes. It's going crazy. I think that's the last pop. <laughs> Yummy. Not so fast, Miguel the Marauder. That corn is for sharing, remember? Oops. Sorry, Nino. <laughs> <laughs>
walking in in the pink. With Shay the Chef. Ready, Izzy? Now pull. Mm. Uh, need a... <clears throat> Yay, my first beet tree. My turn now. Uh, uh. Oh, not too hard, Mario. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> can you really eat this? Of course. You can make loads of delicious things with beetroot. Even a cake. A, a cake. cake? Yeah, a cake. <laughs> <gasps> hey. Hi, honey. Sorry I'm late. I had football practice. Yeah, you need it. I know how to play football, thank you. Ha! Just watch the expert. Hey, that's my ball. Give it back. <gasps> I'm gonna get it. Ha! Huh. Looks like Mario and Honey prefer football kicking to beetroot picking. Oh, <laughs> you're right there, is he? Beetroot salad? Uh, I don't know. Roast beetroot? Maybe. Beetroot tart? Morning, Shane. Parcel for you. Catch. Oh, hi, JG. Aha, my new kitchen aprons. I was waiting for these. Oh, that's strange. I ordered two aprons, not ten. And certainly not this size. Ooh, they're a bit on the small side. Oh, they're all kids' aprons. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just have to send them back. Hi, Dad. I've got your beetroot. Brilliant. Maggie says you can make cake with it. Is that for real? That's it. That can be today's special. Beetroot cupcakes. Izzy, you're a genius. I thought beetroot was only for salads. Aha, that's where you're mistaken. Beetroot's a wonderful vegetable. Such a lovely pink colour. Quick, we need a referee. Huh? huh? I am definitely the best footballer. No, you're not. I scored ten goals for the school team last season. That's only because I was injured. Seriously? Are you two still arguing about football? Only because Honey won't agree I'm a better footballer than her. I'm just as good as you. Well, there's only one way to find out. A football tournament. Count me in. Back in the day, I was the best scorer in my class. Over to me, Honey. To you, Dad. Ouch! <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Now, when I was playing in the Mackerel Marauders, we won the Fisherman's League 20 <laughs> times in a row. <gasps> Fisherman's League? <laughs> Amateurs! Uh, Italy is the true home of football. Uh, keep it for the pitch, please. Honey, Mario, you're the team captains. I'll be the referee. And the winning team gets my special cupcakes. Mmm, I hope they're chocolate. Maybe with a little something extra. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Let's pick our teams. And I'd better go and boil my beetroot. Ha, ha, ha. Mmm. I've got more beetroot than I need to make my cupcakes. Uh, I know. I'll make some ham and beetroot rolls as well. That'll keep the footballers happy, won't it, Eddie? Wham! Wham! <laughs> Sorry, Eddie, but these rolls are for footballers only. Jay, Izzy, Maggie. Ooh. JG! Exciting. And what about me? I've been practicing my keeper yuppies. Oh! Ah! Ooh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Watch this! <gasps> Amazing! <gasps> Bring it on, JG. And that's the last beetroot. Sizzling saucepans. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I've always liked pink. Now, let's get cooking.
into the oven they go. Come on, Eddie, let's get this match started. Not to Sam, he's on the other team. Oh, sorry, Mario. Over here. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's, that's it. it. Yes. No, Mr. Singh's not on your team. Oops. And she has the ball, and he's passing it. Hmm. Dad, to me. To me. Heads up. No, Mr. Singh. Honey's the opposition. <gasps> Is she? It's no use. The grown ups are hopeless. I'm here. Just in time, Dad. The grown-ups keep forgetting whose team they're on. Well, it's not our fault. We're not wearing any team colours. Ha-ha! <laughs> Apart from Shane. Oh, yeah. That was the beetroot water. You should have worn one of your new aprons, eh? That's it! That's the answer. Penny, I'm going to need your help with this. Of course, Shane. Everyone else, stay here and keep practising. OK. okay. Sure. One saucepan of pink beetroot water and one load of small aprons. You're going to dye the aprons pink? Yep. Well, half of them anyway. They'll make the perfect bibs for one of the teams. Fantastic! Oh, I hope this works. Whoa! That's Whoa. awesome! Looks like Eddie wants to be on a team as well. He's got better ball skills than a grown-up. Where is Shane? I'm sure he'll be here soon. Oi, oi, I'm here. OK, you two, heads or tails. Whoever guesses right, their team gets to wear the pink bibs. Tails. Heads. And heads it is. Here you go, Mario. Cool. The pink team is going to win. Shoot. Here we go! Here, touch him! Touch him! Oh, I'm Ah, that's a free kick. Here we go. Fantastic. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Great save, JG. Can you tell who's the best footballer yet? It's me, isn't it? Nope. It'll all depend on the final score. <laughs> Wait! Yeah! Oh, me, it's me! It's me! It's me! Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> Whoa! Great interception, Mum! Hi! Uh, go, Mama! Oh, oh, coming through! <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh, calamity! Go! Hey! That's not fair! Well, well. Pass it over, well, Eddie! Well. Go! Well. Hey! hey. Go! Hey, that's not fair. My cakes are ready. It's a draw. It's official. Honey and Mario, you're both as good as each other. <sighs> okay, agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Shane, these ham and beetroot rolls are delicious. I'm saving myself for the cakes. Here you go, my special tournament cupcakes. Wow, they look fab. Team captain first. <laughs> All right. Mmm. What are they made of? Is it chocolate? Not exactly. A little cocoa, but mostly beetroot. beetroot. Oh. Um, mmm, um, um, I love beetroot. Back of the oven. Great. <laughs> 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 Shane the chef lives near Maggie. 
get cooking in Brilliant Burgers. With Shane the Chef. Hi, Mama Polenta. Buongiorno, Shane and Izzy. Good morning, Mama Polenta. Oh, that coffee smells amazing. I'm trying out some new coffee beans from Colombia. <laughs> Would you like to try some? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I'll need some minced beef too, please. I'm making burgers for Maggie's big barbecue later. That sounds tasty. <laughs> oh, and I'll need some burger buns. Here's your minced beef. The burger buns are just there. Hi, Izzy. Are you coming down to the farm to check out Maggie's new barbecue? Can I, Dad? Yes, no problem. I've got the burgers in hand. Maybe you could help with a salad at Maggie's later. Yes, yeah, sure. Thanks, Dad. See you later. Bye, Ooh, always in a hurry. <laughs> Here you go, Shane. Thank you. Mmm, mmm, this coffee is delicious. Hey, what are you going to do with all those used coffee grounds? Oh, Maggie asked me to save them for her. I don't know why. So, what do you think? Hmm. Ah, fantastic. Right. I've got to set and light the barbecue now. Oh, I could do that for you. And me? Oh, thanks. Well, if you're sure, I'll go and pick the rest of the salad. Great. Oh, that's brilliant, that is. Right. Let's get those burgers made. Grab the mince, chop the spring onions and mix. Oh, it's not even lit yet. Don't worry, we've got it under control. Plenty of oak to get the fire going. No, we need hickory wood for flavour. Apple wood is good too. Good thinking. Ugh, this could take a while. Let's play sardines while we wait. Sardines? Yes. I'll hide and then you come and look for me. If you find me, you hide with me too. Yeah. Uh, maybe later. Oh, OK then. This is where it goes. No, it needs to go here. Actually, I think it needs to be like this. No, I'd do it like this. No, uh, Sam, you're doing it. Sardines? Definitely. No, I'll hide first. You count. OK. No, no you're doing it. Come on, let Jay. Let me show you how it's done. Whoa. Yes. How about some lettuce, Eddie? Hi, Maggie. We're playing sardines. I need to hide. Any ideas? Oh, I don't know. Maybe behind the pig pen? OK, thanks. And that's the last burger. Whoa, OK. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> thanks for all your hard work. But, um, oh, don't you think it's a bit big? Oh, I see what you mean. After all, we don't want to burn Shane's beautiful burgers. <laughs> but we can keep it, can't we? <sighs> OK, we'll take it down a bit. I told you it was too big. No, Eddie! Clear off! You give my hiding place away! <sighs> I'll have to find somewhere else to hide now. Hello, everyone! Oh, bravo! The barbecue looks fantastic. Maggie, here's some more of the coffee grounds you asked for. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Mama Polenta. Tell me, Maggie, I'm curious. What are you using them for? Come on, I'll show you. Look, in here. I've been using your coffee grounds to grow these. Oh, Mamma mia! Oyster mushrooms. Yep, I read that you can grow them using coffee grounds. And it's work to treat. <laughs> oh, well, I never. I know. <laughs> Come on, let's go and see if the barbecue's ready. Oh, I must remember to oil these hinges. The door keeps sticking. <laughs> I'll prop it open. OK, let's go. Aha! Perfect. 98. 99, 100. Mario, we're coming to find you. Oh. Whoa. No, 
he's not here. Not here? Seriously? Huh? Uh, there you are. Shh. Quickly, get in. What's that? Shh. Hmm. Got you! Aw. Polly, you've got toys as well. <laughs> I can hear you. Found you. Whoa, whoa, Eddie, come on, down, Eddie, down. Hiya. <laughs> Want me to help with the salad, Maggie? Of course. It's all here, freshly picked. Great. Let's get started. <laughs> it won't budge. Look, a torch. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow, what are those? Aliens! Monsters! Don't panic. I think they're oyster mushrooms. I don't care what they are. I just want to get out of here. It smells mouldy. Let us out! There we go. Great barbecue temperature. That'll be the hickory wood. Don't you mean oak? Help! Get us out of here! I'm starving! Shh. Listen, did you hear that? I think it was Eddie. Eddie? Eddie? <laughs> Has anyone seen Mario? I can't find him. It's not like him to Miss Shane's burgers. And is he? Oh, now that you mention it, where's Eddie? Sizzling saucepans. And the burgers have gone. <gasps> no burgers? Something strange is going on. Let's find the kids first. Hmm. Okay. All right. Mario! Jay! Honey! Where are you? Is he? Oh, Boy. no. Any luck? No. Sorry. Ah. How did a burger get there? Oh, I think I might know the culprit. Oh, here's another one. Quick, follow them. <laughs> I knew it! It's my Eddie. He loves burgers. But where's Mario? Help! 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 Yay! Thank you for rescuing us, Dad. Yes. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> well, don't thank me. Thank Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Have we missed a barbecue? Oh, I'm sorry, Mario. There's no burgers left. <gasps> Eddie may have spoiled the barbecue by taking the burgers, but he saved the day by rescuing the children. What were you all doing in there anyway? Paying sardines. Wow! Oyster mushrooms. Maybe there is a way we can have burgers after all. So, we have the mushrooms, the breadcrumbs, the onions, herbs and eggs. Are you ready, Izzy? Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. Mushroom burgers all round. Tuck in. Mm. 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 Delicious. Yummy. I'm not sure about this. I'm um, um, not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Shane, have you got another? Two is rather a lot, though, Mario. <laughs> it's not for me. It's my rescue dog. Here you go. Here you go, Eddie. <laughs> Mind you, I think Eddie's had plenty of burgers today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking with Shane the Chef. Shane the Chef lives by the sea. In his restaurant with his knee. Cooking up new recipes. Come on in, try and out see. Basic, scary, gadgets all the way.
cooking in Izzy's Marvellous Marrow. With Shane the Chef. Ah, there we are, all nice and clean, ready for the county show. I can't wait. Oh, I really hope my marrow wins the best vegetable competition. Morning, you two. Oh, <laughs> look out, it's a talking turnip. <laughs> oh, there you go. Turnips, carrots and sweet. Enough to feed everyone at the show. <laughs> and perfect for my very veggie stew. How's my marrow looking, Maggie? Same as yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that. Oh, you've spent so much time looking after that marrow, I thought you were going to move in. <laughs> Fancy giving me a hand to get everything ready for the show? Can I, Dad? Yeah, of course, Izzy. Everything's under control here. Come on, then. Let's go. Bye. Let's get, uh, peeling. This is going to be a very long job. Morning, Shane. Wow, looks like someone's preparing for the Vegetable Olympics. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think this peeler's going to be winning a gold medal. Ooh, that gives me an idea. I'll be right back. Uh... Your raspberries look lovely, Maggie. Try one. Mmm, these are great. They'll win first prize for the best fruit for sure. As long as Jolly doesn't get to him first. <laughs> Show Jolly! Off you go! Get out! Get out of it! Hold on! Dear me. Wow! Is that your pumpkin for the best vegetable competition? It's bigger than my marrow. Uh, maybe. But the judges will be looking at all kinds of things, Izzy. Hey, why don't you give it a last polish while I load up the van? Good idea. Come on, Marrow. You can grow. Uh. Ah, better get my skates on. No need for skates. Not with my magnificent pronto peeler. Sizzling saucepans. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what? Just pop your veggies in here and let the pronto peeler do the rest. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> let's give it a go. To you, Eddie. What? Whoops! Hey, be careful. Oh, are you okay? Sorry, Eddie. What's that? And why are you talking to it? It's my marrow. I'm trying to make it grow bigger in time for the show, but it doesn't seem to be working. What's a marrow? It's a vegetable, Mario. You know, my mama sometimes sings to her flowers to make them grow. We could try that. OK, let's give it a try. Oh, lovely marrow, please grow for Izzy. If she doesn't win a prize, she'll get in a tizzy. Mario. Phew, that was close. Ah, uh, Eddie. OK, let's get pronto peeling. Ooh, it's working. <laughs> wow. There you go, what did I tell you? Come on, go on, try some more. OK. It's definitely getting more sunshine like this. But it's not getting any bigger. Are you sure marrows taste nice? I'd rather have a raspberry. Leave those alone! Hey, go on, get off, you naughty thing! Don't worry, Maggie. I'll get him. I'm the best goalie in town. Oh, watch it, Mario. Oh. Ah! Watch out! Ouch! Oh, good save, Izzy! Time we were off to the show before my pumpkin ends up as mash! At this rate, we'll be done in no time. Brilliant! Oh, dear! Is it supposed to be that loud? Oh, well... 
It probably just needs a tweak. Look out! My Mary looks like it has a good chance of winning. Oh, Mr. Singh started judging. Hmm? Oh! oh. got to now. He wants you to see my marrow being judged. Dad, Mr. Singh's about to judge my... Uh... It's okay, Izzy. Don't panic. Everything's under control. But your veggie stew. What are you going to feed everyone now? Don't worry, Izzy. I'll think of something. Whoa! Now that's what I call a mess. Izzy, Mr. Singh's about to judge your marrow. I know. I really wanted to see it, but I want to stay and help Dad. No, you go. I'll be fine. Oh. Dad, how are you supposed to feed everyone? Off you go, and good luck. <gasps> good colour. Even flesh. Lovely tone. I think he likes it. Yeah, but I really hope Dad's all right. Oh. The marrow! Go for the marrow! The marrow! That's it! Sorry, Mr oh. Singh, but I'm going to need this. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Izzy, let me help. Uh, it's going to take more than that to feed everyone. Will this help, Dad? I can't use your marrow. What about the competition? Uh, I changed my mind. Do you think you can make my marrow into something tasty? Hmm. I know just the thing. You need to get tweaking, JG. Let's get cooking! And tweaking! <laughs> You did it! Hooray! Hooray! Congratulations! Hooray! Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. A pumpkin to be proud of. Oh, thanks. But what did Izzy want with her marrow? Roll up, roll up for Izzy's marvellous marrow spaghetti. With very veggie sauce. Marrow spaghetti? <laughs> oh, yes, it's easy. Just get your marrow. Chop it up and pop it through the spiralizer. Oh, Shane, I didn't know you had a spiralizer. He didn't. Mm, no, not until I gave the pronto peel and a tweak. It makes great vegetable spaghetti. See? Oh, mm. oh, Shane, it's a delicious. Almost as good as Mama's pasta. Mario, what? I said almost. Hey, Sid. Sid. I think. <clears throat> After some thought, I have decided that Izzy should share the first prize with Maggie for sharing her marrow with everyone. But what about your pumpkin? Oh, Izzy, I wouldn't have a pumpkin if you hadn't saved it from Mario's football skills. Hey, my ball skills are the best. Watch. Uh, look at this. What? What? Ah! Oh. Ah, I've got it. Oh, <laughs> another good save, Izzy. Here you go, Mario. Enjoy. Maybe you're the best goalie in town, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario.